she's the shorekeeper. She even showed up in person. That means I haven't seen the shorekeeper in all my time in the Black Shores. I've only heard the stories about her. If the shorekeeper is revealing herself to you, it could only mean one thing. I think you know what I mean. The gateway to the underground has been opened. I'm sure the answers lie ahead. Go on. Leave the rest to us, buddy.
Opening passageways between different spaces uses the spatial properties of the sonorosphere. Thus, the tether system can hold nearly infinite data. It Please have them. I hope they will prove useful. This is what the Black Shores really looks like. To be exact, my body is composed of sonorospheres, and the projection you see is but a shadow of the sonoro. I cannot leave my post. As the core computational unit of the tether system, I must remain to ensure its proper functioning. Yet, I still wish to be with you. This is the only way. This place holds records of every lament across Solaris. Those that have passed. Those happening now. And those yet to come. Here, a planet's lament transforms into stars that fill the sky. Astral Modulator, Guide of Civilizations, Mastermind of the Black Shores. Before you severed ties with your past, it was indeed one of your names. Perhaps you have a preference? Me? I would call you by your true name. I have always addressed you as such. In the past and present, through countless years. is the Necrostar, once known in ancient astronomy as a black hole. The tether system transforms data into stars, observing the entire Solaris, and discarded data are cast into the Necrostar. The abnormal frequency you encountered in the port city of Guishu is part of it. Or rather, it is the Necrostar itself. Please bring it back to the modulation hall and I shall correct it. Then the tether system will be restored and harm will be no more. My only hope now is that we are not too late. Go ahead. I am always with you. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey. <laughs> it 
It appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained underground and... Loading. I engraft you new. Modulation. You're safe. It's okay now. I... I heard her voice. 
Yes, she's here. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'm here with you now. Stay with us. The medical team will arrive any minute. I fulfilled my duty as a member of the Black Shores. Your effort won't be wasted. We will restore everything to normal and ensure everyone's safety. Thank you. Please stop them. We will. Have a good rest now. You've done enough. Your actions will shine bright like the stars. A beacon for all to see. An entire Necrostar was forcefully discharged into the Era Cell without warning. The Era Code spilled out as a result. At its worst, it looked a lot like virtual blood seeping through the ground. We had to seal the underground gate to protect the control room, but someone had to retrieve the key. He did what was necessary, even if it meant risking his own life. I admit, I am surprised to see the shortkeeper here. He is severely infected with abnormal frequencies. It could be fatal. It appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained underground, and the gate is now sealed. Indeed. With my abilities, you don't need to worry about this. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along.
There's no time to waste. might sound abrupt, but I have begun to sense a change within myself. More precisely, it's the part of me that rests in my garden. I feel something different. Something I don't know how to describe. It's clear that the agent's condition is terminal, but still, I lied to him. I've done this before, by imitating the you I remember from many years ago. You did what a leader must, but when I looked into your eyes, I could feel it. The emotion humans call sorrow. Maybe. I should express that emotion in situations like this. Yes. You led the Black Shores with empathy, and it's my responsibility to carry it forward in your absence. But I'm currently unable to fully comprehend this feeling. I see. Well, it is our utmost priority to deal with the Necrostar to prevent further harm. The only way to achieve this is by bringing the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall and initializing it within Tethys. This Necrostar is the black hole that destroyed the port city of Guishu. When the Lament struck the city, Many were unable to escape and were drawn into the black hole. The data you brought back is directly related to that event. Yes, you've questioned this approach before. That's why I aim to change it. I have the highest access to the Tethys system. Bring the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall, and I'll erase its corrupted data. Once it's done, Tethys will function as it should, and no one will get hurt again. But as I mentioned, I'm only a projection without physical form. Could you assist me with this? here to help and protect you, just like I always have. But this time, I will bring everything to a proper end. Of course, we have plenty of time for it. Long enough to talk about the past, 
the present and the future. Will you trust me? Thank you for everything you've done. <gasps> Please be careful. The object contained in the center is the Necrostar. According to pre-lament laws of physics, gravity warps the fabric of space and time. Use the portals to reach the platform. Watch out! We're back in the right dimension now. The battle just now stabilized its frequency fluctuations. Authorized access. Operation confirmed. Hey! Don't just eat whatever's in front of you! This looks awful! Ugh, like the worst stew ever made. This frequency. What are you staring at? It's the one. This frequency has dwelled within you for millions of years. I'll keep an eye on it. We have more important matters at hand. Uh, wait! Are you saying I'm not important here? Cause 
you were about to gulp that hot potch of who knows what stuff. Go grab something normal if you're hungry. But this, absolutely no. This thing is like a dark, spooky hole. Once you fall in, you'll never crawl back out. Precisely. This is the Necrostar, a black hole that will suck anything close to it into oblivion. That little creature is able to perceive objects by their frequency. Just as it described, the Necrostar's frequency is indeed incredibly complex. Speaking of which, are you feeling discomfort anywhere? No, I'm referring to that creature. Do you feel anything unusual when interacting with it? Hmm, that's good to know. The Necrostar's singularity has been retrieved. Let's take it to the modulation hall. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey. Wind guide me. Until... I must keep my promise. Lament. It raises cities, topples towers, crushes civilizations. Nothing can escape it. It sounds the death knell for humanity, leaving billions upon billions of lives lost to its wail. Despair. Obsession. Resentment. Remorse. These feelings are archived within the Tether system. Alongside the names of each victim. Grasping desperately for a tomorrow that never dawns. But why? Why is this burden yours to carry? I am the guardian of the Black Shores, the core of Tethys. I was created for this purpose.
apologies. I should have controlled my Sonora vision. I was entrusted to lead the Black Shores in your absence. It's through this duty that I can protect you and what you cherished. Though I've never witnessed the lament firsthand, others have shared their experiences with me. I've encoded them into observable stars, enabling the Tethys system to issue lament alerts. I am sorry. I should have done better. This disaster could have been prevented. If only I had been more dedicated to understanding those experiences and emotions. I will give it my all, even if I must sacrifice my Sonoro. Or myself. This is the only way to protect the stars. And you. I made my vow to you long ago. It remains just as true today. I will break the shackles of fate. I will unravel the Mobius loop that binds you. I will give my all to honor my commitment. How do I describe this feeling? Is it guilt? Dismay? Or perhaps longing? What emotion should I express now? <laughs> 